That's right. I got them. I finally got my freaking clownfish, dude. This is this is wild because you see, uh, earlier this week I was like uh, going, I was gonna go in and just order them. Like I was gonna go in and just order the clownfish because the guy hadn't got them, and it's been like over a month now that I've been trying to get them, and he has been trying and trying to get them and just hasn't been able to. So I was like, you know what? Let me just order myself. Went there today just to pick up some frozen food, just look around. I literally look up, and they're right in front of me. Right in front of me. Pretty freaking crazy. But uh, yeah, we got them. They are separately bagged because you know clownfish do like to kind of nip at each other. Now, I said I would probably be getting the snowflake clownfish. These are actually a frostbite clownfish. I mean, it's just it's just more or less a variation of a snowflake, but they do look a little bit better than the snowflakes. I got to say, just because they have more white on them. Anyways, they're pretty freaked out, and uh, I don't want to freak them out anymore. So we're gonna go in and get them into the tank right here. This tank right here has literally been like cycling for like three months now, like. It's been cycling that long. The only thing we have in here are just some hermit crabs. There's one right there, and there's another one right there on that rock. But I'm gonna get a cleaner shrimp next weekend for the tank, and then I'll be adding more rock. But for now, uh, this is what they're going into, 28 gallon bio cube. Got a little algae on the front, gotta get some snails for it as well. It still didn't have any snails, so I'll just go ahead and wait till next weekend when we go ahead and get the cleaner strip for it. The fish picture in the last video was a green tear cichlid. Brandon got that correct, so shout out to him. This is the fish picture for this video. Be the first one to comment down below the correct name of that fish. If your comment is pinned, you'll get a shout out in the next video. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get our frostbite clownfish into their new tank. All right, we got them right here. And, oh, oh, there they are. These guys are going to look so dang cool in here. Now when I get them in the tank, I'll probably be able to show you guys a little bit better, but they actually have kind of like a bluish tint to them, like around their gills. I think it looks really, really cool, but you can't really see it right now. But we're going to let those guys acclimate, and uh, we're going to go check out some other fish right now. So these fish right here have been doing great. Uh, there's the electric blue jag dimps right there. There's one of them. There's the other guy right there. And the spiny eel is right back up there in that cave right there. You can see him back in there, and he has been doing great in here. I've actually been feeding the, the tank uh, some brine shrimp out throughout this week. I'm going to switch it back up to blow worms now. It's good to, you know, kind of switch it up, and that leads me to my next topic, which is that I'm probably just going to feed the frostbite clownfish just like some brine shrimp. They should do totally fine with that, and then I'll switch it up, of course. But yeah, all the fish in there have been doing great. Jack Dempsey is out right now. He's actually been coming out a lot more recently. And there's the bitcher right down there. Oh, here he comes. Thought he was just peeping his head out, but there he is right there. We're going to come back around and feed all the fish in a minute, but I'll just give you guys an update on them. There's the convicts right here, male and the female. That's the female's little hideout inside the clay pot, and the male, of course, just kind of stays back there. But they, they've been getting along a little bit better out through the week, but they're still pretty aggressive towards each other. And the flower horn, of course. He has been doing great in here. He's been absolutely loving his new tank. There he is right there. When I come in here, he likes to go... Like side to side. He ain't not too long ago, so I'm not gonna feed him right now. But uh, yeah, he is. He's been doing absolutely great in here. And I asked you guys last video to name him, and I, uh, I think I found a name for him. Chungas. Yeah, Chungas. I don't know why I liked it, but uh, I just thought it would be a great name for him. So. Yeah, the flower's name is Chungus. The pea puffers in this tank have been doing great as well. There's two of them right there. And the other two are back there somewhere. Somewhere out through the tank looking for food. Now that big guy right there is by far the most personable one out of the four. And he is also the most active one as well. And the pool pond. The turtles in here have been doing great. I gotta turn the wave maker back on. And it won't be long before we actually start adding fish in here. Alright, so it is about time now to put our clownfish into their new tank. Alright, got one of them right here. I'm actually just gonna get these guys in my hand, so. Alright, there he is. And into his new tank. Look at that guy. That is amazing. All right, we got this guy right here. This guy's actually got a little more black on his fins. And there he is. Look at those guys. Now keep this in mind. These are the first ever saltwater fish that I've ever kept. But those guys right there are just amazing. Well, it's now the next morning. The clownfish have been doing great in here overnight. I am thinking about dropping a few pieces of brine shrimp in here and just see if they eat it. And if they don't, it's totally fine because it'll go right down here to the bottom. And that's what the hermit crabs are for. They've been kind of hanging out in this side of the tank right here. I guess just kind of stayed out of the current because you can see that's where it's at right there. And they're kind of over here. But yeah, I might feed them in a few minutes. But right now, I'm actually about to feed us uh, some of the other fish. That's some bloodworms right here. Oh, look at them. 
They're coming right up to it and eating it. Look at them. There they go. Eating them away. Now, I want to see... I want to see the eel come out and actually eat some. There's some down here on the bottom now. Well, there was. But yeah, he's right back there in that cave. I want to see him come out and try to get some. Went in to put another cube in since these bloodworm cubes that I just got actually do not have that much in them. And it's still just that much left. Got some pellets right here for the Jack Dempsey. Drop them right on in. And uh, watch him come right up here and get them. Oh, there he is. He's actually a lot more comfortable with the light off, so that's why I'm leaving it off right now. And believe it or not, you would think it'd be the opposite way, but the bitcher is actually more comfortable when the light's on. It'll actually be out more. He smells the Jack Dempsey's pellets. He's coming out. Look at him right there. I'm about to go get some shrimp for him. Got some blood worms right here for the convicts. Just going to drop that on you in and watch these guys. Look at them. Going at it. Got some more. Got them all. Now, normally I would feed the puffers in here just to brine shrimp, but I'll switch it up a little bit today. These are a little bit bigger, but I know they'll still be able to eat them. Look at them. Look at them going at it. I just take them and rip them apart. Oh, look at him. Oh my gosh. The puffer's guy went into the worm and the quarry cat's got the other. Look at that. Here comes another one. That is wild. Oh my gosh. What if this guy comes up and gets it? Look at him. He is legit trying to steal it from him. There's no way he's going to be able to steal it from that quarry cat. It's just about got it. He's got one right there in his mouth. There's the Marlboro quarry cat fish who is moving out of this tank pretty soon. He is starting to really grow now. And uh, he's getting about ready to move out of here pretty soon. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and move him straight into the pool pond. Got some cut up shrimp right here for the bitcher. I like to usually get three of the smaller pieces. Drop them right on in. And the Jag DMC will probably try to get one of the... Oh, yep. He got one. Oh, gosh. He got two of them. Oh, gosh. Yep. And he ate all his pellets. All right. Well, I'm just dropping another one in. Just a bigger piece. Oh, oh. There's the bitcher. Yep. He got that piece. And the other piece is right there. Oh, oh. Got it. Look at that. Oh. Gone. Just like that. Now, I said that this tank right here, this 55-gallon tank, was going to be a community tank with a whole bunch of, like, big school and tetras and stuff like that in here. But I've since changed my mind because I'm actually going to make this an African cichlid tank. Now, before I actually started showing my tanks on YouTube, this used to be an African cichlid tank. And then I turned it into like an exotic fish tank. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it back into an African cichlid tank uh, actually next video. All right, so I got some brine shrimp right here in this cup. I'm going to put a few in here and let's just see if they eat them. The current's probably going to take them right down and they're really small, but I don't know. Let's see what they do. All right, there's some. Oh. Oh, we got it. Look at that. They got him. He's eating it. He spit it back out, and then he ate it. Well, I guess they are eating. All right, I'll put some more in right here. Look at them. They're really going at them. The ones they don't get, I'm just letting go down to the bottom for the hermit crabs to get. Here's a big guy coming out right there. Look at that guy. They're not really seeming to like them like a whole lot like they would like some other types of food. I'll just have to find out what they really like because some of them they're actually eating like that guy was and they spit them right back out like that. But they did eat a few of them. See them? And they just kind of spit it back out, but that's totally fine. I'm going to let the hermit crabs go ahead and eat those. Now, hopefully not next video, but the next video that I'll show these guys, I will have figured out what kind of food they really like. Had another tank leak today. It was this one right here, and this was actually the crayfish's tank. Luckily, I had the old flower worm 10 gallon, and I went ahead and replaced it. I'm telling you, man, every time I come out here, there's more of them. Just, just more and more. Now, this is nothing. This is literally nothing. If you've ever seen my pond, like in the middle of the summer or anything like that, um, it looks like grass out there because it's nothing but lily pads. And, like, you can see the cutoff line right there. Now, they kind of form in a spot where it only gets about five feet deep. They can't really form anywhere where it gets deeper than about five or six foot because not enough sunlight is able to reach the bottom for them to grow. That's the deepest part of the pond. It gets about 12 feet deep. It's probably around 12, 13-ish right now because the pond is, like I said, it's, it's pretty high up right now. Well, that is pretty much it for now. We finally got our clownfish. Man, did it take a while. But they look really well. They're only about an inch right now, so they got some growing to do. Like I said, I still gotta really figure out like what they really wanna eat. So drop some comments down below uh, telling me you know, what you think I should try to feed them and just to see if they like. Next weekend, I'm gonna get a cleaner shirt for the tank and also some snails. But anyways, be sure to drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. But anyways, guys, with that being said, you guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.